This is the VOA Special English Economics Report. A recent study shows that investors are concerned about conditions in Kenya. The nation is preparing for general elections in March 2013, but the Kenyan business community is showing less confidence in the health of the country's economy. The Kenya Private Sector Alliance and the Sinovate Research Group reported the findings. Sinovate researchers talked to 145 business leaders between July and August. A measure of the leaders' confidence or trust was down 53 percent. That compares to between 60 and 70 percent. A year ago, Patrick Obat is chairman of the Kenya Private Sector Alliance, or KEPSA. It represents more than 200 Kenya-based companies. Patrick Obat says investors' trust has fallen because of recent ethnic violence and political problems. We normally do a survey every six months on the business community. To look at the various indicators that、uh, show the way the economy is going and the kind of fears they have, so this is a regular thing that we do. But this particular one showed an indication that there is obviously some pessimism about the economy as a result of the activities that normally lead up to the election. He also says he knows of some investors who are withdrawing their investments. He says two behaviors could lead to economic problems. Before the elections, two things happen. One is that if there was any investment to be de- done, it is delayed until after the elections. Once things are clearer, the second thing that we experience is that also the spending of people changes because people are also a bit more cautious and they tend to keep money aside just in case things don't go the way that they expect. So that downturn is what we normally see every year before election. Kenya experienced ethnic violence. After disputed presidential elections in December 2007, at least 1,300 Kenyans were killed. More than 300,000 others fled their homes to escape the unrest. Since then, Kenyans have experienced four years of relative security. A new constitution is in place. It is meant to prevent the kinds of anger and political struggles that caused the violence five years ago. But Kenya is not completely calm. Many people have died because of ethnic violence between competing communities in the Tana Delta area. Patrick Obat says the violence has not helped investors' confidence. He says it also harms his country's image around the world. And that's the VOA Special English Economics Report. For transcripts, MP3s, and now PDFs of our programs for e-readers, go to voaspecialenglish.com. You can also find our captioned videos at the VOA Learning English channel on YouTube. I'm June Sims.